Next story here, which I thought was pretty interesting, was this courtesy of RA again about a rave show happening on BBC Radio One Extra, which, if you don't know by the picture, is the BBC radio station predominantly made for the blacks, myself included, right? People that look like myself. They made us a particular uh, or, or specific bbc radio station that plays the music that we kind of like it because stuff it's gonna make you go doom, 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 which is always funny to me i've never listened to it once in my entire life i'm not gonna lie i don't really listen to radio at all in the slightest but i thought this story was pretty cool it says bbc one bbc radio one extra has launched a weekly show dedicated to black dance music culture hosted by jeremiah asami asaya 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 is that how you say his name? Is that, is that Ghanaian, I think? Jeremiah Asayama. The first episode of BBC Radio Show was broadcast last Friday, January 13th. The slot will cover genres such as Ama Piano, House, UK Garage, Jungle, Rave, and Drum and Bass. Calling it a rave show when this those genres is interesting, isn't it? Because I wouldn't describe this as rave music. Maybe Jungle. I don't know. Anyway, it's continuous. Um, Asamaya. Um, is best known as the host of extras one get lit mix which runs straight after the rave show the british Ghanaian dj see i knew it's Ghanaian broadcaster and producer started out started out as brixton station represent radio oh represent radio <laughs> extras rave show is the latest attempt to highlight dance music's black roots and reconnected the club scene with more diverse audiences last year the mobile awards introduced their best electronic dance category for the first time following criticism for its lack of dance music representation i wish there was was just less onus put on all this. as much as i think it's important to know your history definitely is i wish there was more onus just put on actually creating new and interesting memories with what we have now and i think the introduction of ama piano that kind of legit real energy that was coming out of africa especially south africa when it first started popping off was sick because we were getting to see like black people in nightclubs dancing to what you would traditionally call you know electronic music that you would traditionally maybe see with a white face in like you know places like dc 10 or whatnot um circo loco vibes but then you're seeing black people dancing and it's a particular sort of beat particular kind of rhythm obviously it kind of died a slow death similar to that afro beats because everything started sounding the same and it's kind of become a bit tired maybe it needs to become like a second third wave of it to kind of spruce it up a bit but I feel like the genre, the music itself is what propelled people to be like, oh, wow, this is interest. There's this thing going on. To a point where even myself, I was considering going to South Africa just to go and see what it's like, the vibe there and be actually, you know, on the dance floors with people that actually live and breathe that shit daily and see what it's like. Similar to when I go to Berlin and listen to techno in a place where it kind of popped off and is doing great things over there. So I think concentrate more on the art and on the music will go a long way to reestablishing those roots or those connections of dance music, electronic music with black people and black history. This whole like, oh, let's educate you by having shows and sitting down with people and reminiscing about things and bemoaning the fact that there's not enough black people on certain lamps is, I don't know, it's a bit boring, a bit tired for me. It doesn't really do anything in terms of changing the actual face of things out there. Because like I said plenty of times, it's not even an issue representation wise on lineups it's less an issue to do with race i feel like it's more just an issue overall in terms of just being boring and being stale and being the same formulaic thing like we see all the time every four to five years there's a crop of djs that everyone kind of hypes over and gets excited for they get rinsed and they get plastered on every single venue everyone gets tired of them and they kind of turn off of them because they get forced in your face too much then another group of people come through and it's the same thing same thing but very rarely do you see the crowds that they play to be reflected on the on the lineup so i said it before like tomorrowland and all these other edm festivals look at the amount of scantily clad hot girls on instagram wearing fishnets and leather and whatnot who you know maybe go there just to go show off but they're clearly also interested in the music you don't go and travel to belgium to these festivals i think i think tomorrowland's in belgium you don't travel to these places just to go and you know shake your ass obviously that might help but you also go because you love the music but how many of those girls do you see playing on that stage that look like that? Not many, right? So it's, and, and the stage, the, sorry, the crowd, if you look at those festivals, they're quite, you know, there's a lot of diversity there of people, whether they're different types of white people, whether they're different, you know, genders and whatnot, or how they identify in terms of sexuality and whatnot. They're different people in the crowd, but they're not really effective on the lineups. And that's the main issue. It's about getting the crowds and to be somewhat congruent, which is not really, it doesn't really work that way too much. I'm not sure what, why that is the case. Obviously, it's a gatekeeper thing, but again, all these conversations and talks and stuff, it just, I don't know, it doesn't necessarily go anywhere for me, but hey, what do I know? 
Extras rave shows, the latest attempt to highlight dance music black roots. I've told you already. New collective Black Electronic Music Association, BEMA, was instrumental in instigating this change. Speaking of resident advisor, Helena Stark, Helena Star, Nix, Hannah Shogo, Shogbola, the Jaguar, had said that their long term goal is to create an independent black radio, an independent black electronic dance awards. Okay, that's a pretty good idea, I guess. Um, the funny thing is, is like, is like, imagine pitching this idea to have this show on BBC One Extra and being the person that says no. This is always going to get put through. No one's ever going to say no to a show like this, right? Imagine being a BBC One radio um, show director and saying no to a show that establishes or the roots. What does it say here? Um, uh, yeah, to highlight the dance music's roots in black. No, sorry, highlight dance music's black roots and recreate the club scene with more diverse audiences. Imagine being a person at BBC One or Radio One Extra One that said, um, no, I'm not going to do that. So it's always going to happen. Do you know what I mean? So it's not that big of a deal. Gee, is that the boy? Let's see. Let's play the video of him actually announcing the show here. I think that's him, right? So now Jeremiah Sire, Miss Missyaya. A new show has come to One Extra and it's all about champion. Yo, why do all these guys sound the same? Like this, regardless of what race they are, right? Which way they swing, where they're from in the UK, they all have the same voice. Is that just a radio voice? Do I have like a podcast voice? I'm not too sure. Maybe I do have a, I don't know. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. But that voice is wild, isn't it? Like, <laughs> where do they, where do you get, tr how do you train yourself to speak like that? Can I, then, then, welcome to the rave show. We have on the phone line, Mr. Jeff Mills. Jeff. What inspired you to make the bells? Music and dance. Amazing. You're my idol. It's like, yo, this way of talking is wild. Let's play this again. Let's go. Black dance culture. And we call this the One Extra Rave Show. With me, Jeremiah Asiyama. Every single Friday night. Oh, it's Asiyama. Jeremiah Asiyama. So expect to hear genres like jungle. Okay, too much copyright music, but you get the gist. It looks pretty cool. It looks pretty fun. Um, you know, check it out if you dare. It's there on the screen. BBC One of One Extra, BBC One Extra Rave Show. Oh, that's him. So it looks very different, isn't it? Um, but yeah, big up the show. Big up them. Do your thing. Hopefully it works out and all that galaki. Hopefully it works out and all that gal. 